Uh, you lying sex with shit. I'm not ready. Go ahead. I'm never You're ready. never ready. All right, here we go. Morning. The Loud Spot podcast uses adult humor and adult language in its broadcast. It may be unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we are idiots. Please don't take anything. We say offensive or the heart. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian, hanging out with Jordan. Jordan is here for the third week in a row, second week, well, third, at least third podcast. Not, maybe not in a row, but you've been here. We got Sam, who's like literally always here. We got a pretty good show tonight. Before we get the show started, though, I do want to remind everyone to please hit that subscribe button, uh, like us, share it, comment. It helps our algorithms out. Also, don't forget, we are sponsored by Dubby. If you do want a jitterless energy drink or just a hydration drink, maybe after a long night, uh, go to Dubby.gg. Use promo code the loud spot, all one word, for 10% off. That is D U B B Y dot G G and use promo code the loud spot. 10% off. Okay. Look, guys, we were talking about what we're going to discuss this week. And, you know, I didn't know what we were going to discuss because I'm busy as shit. And I was like, shit, we got we to got, we got to come up with some topics. Yeah, uh, some kind to of something about. to have a podcast about. And then yeah. I ran across this article about this therapist, okay? A licensed therapist. Her name is Taylor Palmby. And, Taylor. Jordan, you probably didn't know, what, didn't know what I was talking about when I brought this up in the chat. And I said, I think this is bullshit. I think, I don't know if you read the article or not, but she concludes after watching 27 Slipknot videos, uh, what Slipknot is all about and tries to do some, I don't know, (laughs) what was you like, uh, not therapy, but uh, what's the word? Analysis of them. Analysis of Slipknot. So the fir- before I even read the whole entire article, I thought it was bullshit. You can't, as a therapist or counselor, there are how many people are in Slipknot? Seven? No, there was like nine, nine at one time. Nine. nine. Okay, that's always yeah. nine. Mean, okay, and you mean to tell me that you? No, can- he, he he's gotten rid of a couple, so we. Can't oh yeah, nine original, nine. but it's still nine yeah. people. But it's just they've they've all been replaced pretty much, except for like three. yeah, it's all backtracking and uh, AI. So a lot of that regardless you <laughs> can't come to a conclusion as a therapist about a band everyone in the no. band not through your music end- videos well everyone in a, no so no and the one that made her conclusion the deepest one and her here here's this it says uh one video in particular led to her conclusion and it was the devil and i and she says the band doesn't mask their pain they wear it Shut the fuck up, dude. They That's were? the dumbest thing I ever. So you're telling me, you're telling me that everyone in the band is not masking their pain and they're wearing it inclusively as one unit as a whole entire band. I think every single person in that band has their own life things that they're dealing with. Like Jordan, sure. you're in redefined. Everyone in your band has your own life uh, yep. situations that you're going through at any particular moment. You don't share the same experiences just because you're in the same band doesn't mean you share the same experience. So I think trying to put an entire band into some therapy box. Especially through music videos, because like a lot of those videos, like coming from stuff that I've done, it's Uh not always our choice of what we're doing in the video. Like sometimes you give the director free roam to be like, Hey, come up with an idea for this. And then they bring it to you and you do like some videos make no sense to the song whatsoever and all this. So like if, if she had like home video of them, maybe then she can make an analysis, but like off their music videos, there's a music video of my wife killing all of us. Like, <laughs> right. 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 Like, okay. What? Well, 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 the thing is she says the, and her other con- uh, thought or theory is their masks tell stories. And my thing is, no, they just started wearing a mask because they decided it would be cool back in the late uh, 1990 somethings. Yeah. And they just still wear a mask because that's their thing. It's not like it's like you analyze something that doesn't need to be analyzed to make yourself feel prominent in the industry. I feel like she's doing it. She has, she does have a 
YouTube channel where she does reaction videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why she's doing it to gain her own popularity. Yeah, it's a cloud but, chase. But, but today, Jordan, me, and Sam, if today we decided we're going to start a band and we're all going to wear masks in this band and then we make it super famous and then 20 years later, some therapist comes on board and says that our masks all tell stories when we were just drunk and decided what masks we were going to wear one night doing yeah. a podcast. That's why I think it's stupid. Sebastian, I wear a mask every day. <laughs> every time, every day. I would like to know what she thinks of like mud vein or sleep token. Oh. What are those? What do those masks or, or face right. paints say about them? Here's the sad thing about this is she's probably going to gain a bunch of popularity for this. One thousand percent. And yeah. going to sit there and do some inner therapy work and talk about these bands, and people are gonna listen to her. And they're going to assume she's right because she's a licensed therapist. Yep. You, fucking th- you know how many fucking uh, divorce counselors are divorced? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. like, it's are, like, are how many psych- all right. So, you know, one of the biggest things I noticed that is how many psychologists have their own fucked up reality. And then they're also on drugs and out heavy drinkers There's or countless movies about that. Yeah, exactly. It, you cannot. I see what Sebastian said. I, I, I see that. Because you, you look like you kind of disagreed with me at first. A I, I did disagree with you because they do wear their heart on their sleeve. And Corey's that, that, all that's fucked fun. up. That's okay. But every, all, every we, band, a lot of bands do that make it big. You're right. You're right. And Corey is the most fucked up of them all because he battles through consistent demons. But he's predominantly the songwriter of the songs. But I'm with Jordan. You can't base it off of one video or a couple of videos because those videos 27 YouTube, videos. Yeah. It doesn't matter how videos. many videos. All right. So 27 videos. And you but not all those videos are going to be relative to what the song is about or what it like Jordan Jordan says, his wife killed him in one of his videos. Now that is truth. She wants to kill him. Yes. However, <laughs> however. It was the probably director's call or something like that. And like, hey, we need a stand in. And he's like, uh, my wife's not doing it. I got a hot wife, so let's put her in the video. When you're you're that famous of a band, a lot of times you don't really control every little thing that goes on around you. Now, the lyrics, Corey, okay, if he does write every single lyric to every one of his songs and there's no Mm -hmm. ghost writers, which is probably the case. Okay, I get that. You can go ahead and do your analysis. On Corey. On Corey Taylor. Yeah. Right. That's not because he's the one saying the words. The rest of the band is following his lead, probably, and what's happening with the band as far as songwriting, as far as what they're going to wear. I, I don't know. Right. I'm not in the band, but you cannot. You want to be, though. You, of course. Well, I would I'll not say no. Member. I wouldn't <laughs> say no. But, but yeah, I'd be the, tri- the new triangle guy. Electric triangle. You can't analyze the whole band through your therapy skills is what i would say and your degree in counseling and even if you have a phd i think even some of these people with phd are the most fucking idiotic people you'll ever meet with no sense of reality yeah. not a lot of whatsoever. common sense a lot of book smarts you know like yeah they had a lot of book smarts to get yeah they went to school and they learned a lot sure but like right. when it came to like learning shit from the streets or from real life the, the, the only good counselors that are out there that I think are like the best counselors would be like a drug counselor who was fucked up drug. living on the streets yep. on drugs and cleaned their lives up. If you're a drug counselor, but you learned went to school to be a drug counselor, you have no you're, idea. You're, you're not the best drug counselor. You're I'm, cold I'm the guy that was on fucking heroin and, and fentanyl, died two times, was homeless for 10 years, changed his life around. That's the best drug counselor you're going to find. And she has never been in a metal band. I don't know. I don't probably not. She's a therapist. She doesn't have time for a band. She went to college yeah, yeah. for fucking 20 years, you know? So right. she doesn't have time to be in a band. Exactly. So don't try to analyze a band with your therapy skills. Through the lyrics, think, I'll give you that. That makes a good yeah. point. Because like I put up, when we when we released Audio Video Disco, I put up, uh, leading up to the album every day, I did a song lyric. Like what, like right. what the song lyrics were. And then I had a guy on every single post comment like like he was therapizing me like he was analyzing he was like this sounds like this or this sounds like a guy trying to find himself or this and i was like dang i hope my band appreciates this because like <laughs> what if they don't feel that way i'm just writing my own lyrics and stuff exactly. and you can tell you can tell we're idiots because we're saying third pi therapize. therapize that's why i said it i was like i'm gonna sound dumb as or whatever the word is we don't know but it's still common sense so uh this goes out to you 
Taylor Palm B, the therapist for all rock music who has her own YouTube channel and reaction videos. I think what you're saying is bullshit. And I think that people that believe what you're saying are just fucking Blindly idiots following. as well. They're just following right. your lead because they don't know. All right. Yep. But we all know what this is about. Sebastian, what's my number one rule in the music industry? It's not about the actual topic at hand. It's about the PR stunt that she's yep. pulling right now oh, and okay. having you talk about her and how she's stupid and she's <laughs> dumb and she's, which reminds me, Redefine needs to pull one of these stunts and get people <laughs> arguing and stuff we like do. that. going to start know, drama. So here, here's the thing when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, she's obviously using Slipknot and uh, numerous other bands to to push her agenda of her being a psychologist, which Staying is fine. Relevant. Hey, and staying relevant, right? And go ahead and do that. Uh, when the backlash comes, take it with a grain of salt like we do. Like we love backlash yep. because we're fuck we're idiots, guys. If again, we're going to state this a hundred thousand times every time we we get on the show. If you're listening to us for insight, if you're listening to us to for your local news or or anything of, then you're an idiot. You should not be listening to us for yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we, that, we, and that's that's fair. And you know, if people disagree with me and think I'm an idiot. I'm okay with that. I don't care. I'm okay with that too. I'm a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam's like, I'm okay with people thinking you're an idiot also, yeah, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. They can I think mean, that. It's free country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, granted, when we pull poor people like Jordan in, then I feel really bad going. Sorry, no, Jordan. I was an idiot you're, all along. Yeah, you're a knuckle dragging Neanderthal yeah. like the rest of us. So, I'm mouth breathing. <sighs> so with, with, with her, I, here's here's the thing. I, I, I hope her well. She's get she's obviously doing she's got your attention this week. She did something um, right. Yeah, and she's doing and and I hope it actually leads to actual um psychology uh psychologist diagnosis to help people. But at the end of the day, if those people don't want to be helped, there is nothing you can do. You can diagnose all you want to and say whatever you want about them, but if they don't believe it and they don't want to take it, suck it. Yep. I, I want I want to say this before we play the first song. I do want to right. say this. Had she talked to every single person in the band right. and had like a three or four session hour session with every member yep. that's in Slipknot currently right. and past, and right. then found some sort of happy medium between right. every member that's in Slipknot. At that point, you could come out with an analysis. Maybe they all have one thing in common. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. But then, the, the, but you can still maybe form some sort of bubble to put them into. Because that's what she's doing. She's putting Slipknot right. into a bubble, and they're not a sellout type band. They're, they're just that Slipknot is Slipknot's Slipknot. A sellout slip, band. Yeah, but slip, but Slipknot still Slipknot though. Dude, they, they were right. so good when they hated each other. Like that was yeah. like when they did Iowa. They all yeah. hated each other, bro. Yeah. And like it was so good. Was Best so Marilyn good. Manson is when he's fighting with his band on stage. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling well, you, so like put his wiener on people. If you, if you if you talk to every single person, then you can put them in a bubble because now you have every single person that you've talked to, and you could wrap them into a box and say something about them. Give it, but to just watch 27 music videos, you, all you're doing is 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 therapizing. We spent like award. <laughs> you're, you're therapizing <laughs> Don King, yeah. Corey King Taylor. Here. That's all you just did. You can't say they're they're On the, a, you know what, what does she say? The, uh, she says uh, the band doesn't mask their pain. They wear it. Shut the fuck up. It, and she used the word mask because they wear masks. Of course. I get it. Whatever. Whatever. There's Taylor, three guys on a podcast these. somewhere that agree that are disagree with us completely. <laughs> That's right. Dude, everyone's gonna disagree. And I'm like, we love that. this I'm girl. Fine. Yeah, oh, they all yeah. love her. They all love her. Yeah. I don't care if they do. I, I I I speak my mind, and that's my thought on it. I'm my own yeah. therapizer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's take a look at our new song. Um, the uh new song that we have right here from Widow Seven, their new yes. song checked out right here on the last spot. Let's go. Midday. Sleep, trauma, bad dreams, PTSD, head can't stay awake till my eyes bleed. My sanity is out of pocket, anxiety, until I vomit, I'm crazy, 
but I can't stop it. Got a couple skeletons hanging in my closet. Sick of feeling out of control. I just wanna let you know. I'm shut down. like to say publicly that i would love to tour with those guys i love them i thought you were no i guess i saw some someone else i knew it's uh, Andrew w. Boss. playing with them trans w playing. bosses yeah those are great guys too i'd love to tour with them we played ball we bowled with those guys when we when we toured with il nino last time and uh or was it with Who, head uh, it was with, one with widow seven or no andrew, andrew w. w boss we bowled with I, him so i beat a, there, everybody i just so want that to go on the record all right so there's a tradition with Widow Seven, Andrew W. Boss, about bowling. Yes. Like they love to bowl. That's awesome. And they love to bowl with their tour mates on tour. Yep. So if you ever cross my pass and I put you on tour with yes. Andrew W. Boss or Widow Seven, you were bowling and you better get used to it. Dude, I, it, I stomped them, bro. Okay, yeah. I didn't stomp them, but like they, it got to the point where at the end they were like, all right, we got to average everybody's score together. And I was like, no, I was like, screw that. I beat everybody <laughs> both matches. <laughs> I was like, you can't yeah, tell me nothing. You know, I suck at bowling. So I'm Andrew, Andrew oh, will be down bowl. soon and he wants to bowl. And I'm like, no, nope, that ain't happening. Do oh, it. You got look, it. look, I was on a bowling You'll be better league. than Bugaboo, I promise. He's terrible. Yeah, he's I horrible. was on a bowling so league as the sixth man, just because or fourth fourth man, I guess. They needed a fourth person. And I I was asked to do it, and I said, fine, I'll do it. And so I so I wasn't horrible. I didn't do great. I think my biggest score was like a 160 something. You also was like a good, good night for respectable, me. Good night. respectable good night. 160. Good night for me. Yeah, I got like I guess you get a little magnet if you get over 150. So I got a little magnet. Okay. Anyways, we needed a substitute one one time. So this other guy that we worked with, he, he's like, I'll do it. Dude, this dude was so horrible at bowling. Like, he couldn't even, like, walk up to the, That's why uh, he volunteered. To the lane like, right, and throw the ball. He was, like, tiptoeing. He would lose his footing. He would just kind of throw the ball. Like Flintstone? The, <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was laughing so hard. I had to turn away. From him, so he wouldn't be too embarrassed and leave uh, the bowling. I'm like, dude, dude, it's not that complicated. He's one of those guys that if you were like in a cadence march, like left, right, left, he'd stumble. The military, left. Yeah. He'd be he had he had two left foot. Yeah, he, he wouldn't. Yeah. He wouldn't. Dude, bug from do. Andrew W. Boss was hard to watch bowling, bro. Like I'm talking about. You ever seen somebody and they get their thumb stuck in it and the ball just flies through the air? That was almost every single time. If not straight in the gutter. Wait, doesn't he love bowling? 
They, they all do. No, Andrew loves bowling. Andrew loves his, bowling, and his brother. His brother, his brother loves bowling. Well, it was both his brothers. Yeah, so they were decent. Now me, Ciro, on the Ciro other hand, was good too. That's their. I, I, I'm like Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Nobody fucks from, with the Jesus. No one fucks with the Jesus. Okay, with a little scrotum okay. ball. Yeah, clean exactly. Yeah, and and, and I, I will bowl like a one hundred. So yeah, I, I have I have a custom made bowling ball. And nice. it's it's because I was on the bowling team, and so I was all into it for a little bit, you know. And uh, yeah. I still can't curve it; like I suck at trying to curve it. But and, and you know, and most of the time, my brother was I, sick of that. I hated it. I couldn't do it. So, well, most one of the time, I suck. Like I, I may get like a hundred or like ninety nine on most nights. But when I was doing the league about fourteen years ago, I was hitting about one forty on average. Oh yeah, I think I almost I got a turkey like at least once or twice. I've got a turkey. I've got a couple. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So one of the biggest things I told Sebastian about, um, we were we were brainstorming about a, a couple of events, which we can announce now. Sebastian, yes, so ahead, put it out there, ahead. is that it. we have a music conference coming right here to Oklahoma City, and we're we're going to we did this out of man, fans need to know as much information as possible, those kind of things, and there's nothing right smack dab in the middle of the country. You have there's L.A., no- you have the East Coast, nothing around here. Mid- well, we got NAM over here, don't we, on the East Coast? Yeah, you, no, you, well, you have NAM in, in Nashville, and you have NAM in Los Angeles. Oh, you there's have a NAM one- in Nashville. Yes, there is a NAM okay. in Nashville. Okay. Yeah, but no one really goes to it. No one, okay. no one really goes to it. It's, it's usually during the hot months, so that's why. And yeah. then you also have launch music conference and those kind of things like that. So Sebastian had an idea, and I said, let's do a music conference, and then we'll we'll call it. And and he came up with the name Mid America Music uh, Conference. We're going to have a conference. It's a one day event right now. Of course, it'll it will eventually spread it to like a two to three day kind of thing. But we want to have panel discussions. We want people to come and enjoy these kind of things. We're hoping to get, you know, people like, and I'm just spitballing here. They haven't said yes or anything to this, but like people like Ash Alveston from Sumerian Records. How does he look for talent? How does he do these kind of things? You know, Bob uh, Becker. Yeah, Bob Becker from Fearless, who's also now Luke on Lyon. Thriller. Oh. Yeah. So, and these are all people. These are all people that were just spitballing. We, I, I just put po- posted on there. So, if you guys go to our Facebook page, Mid America Music Conference, or if you find us on www.midmusiccon.com, um, if you want to be involved, those kind of things. We're trying to keep the the tickets cheap, and then of course we're going to have a concert at the end of the night to cap it all off. Um, it's going to be held at the Grand Casino in Shawnee, Oklahoma, which you can get drunk and crawl it's a, up they got hotels. It's a huge, this venue is a huge, huge venue. venue. They got, the, I mean, Godsmack plays there. I saw Lisa Lamp and Nelly there one time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's a huge, we rented out the whole entire beautiful. theater or our, our concert arena it's and the ballrooms and, and the, and the ballrooms. And it's two stories they have seating upstairs downstairs yep. is like where you can go in maybe seat down mosh pit i mean it's 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 big so and sebastian was very happy i was very happy with it yeah <laughs> i mean this is and and the cool thing about it is they're going to sell the tickets for us hopefully uh right yeah. to their website so this is going to be big this isn't small potatoes what we are establishing sam and myself is something that we hope to take with us year after year after year and an amazing yeah. Uh, it, uh, just this casino is top notch, five star uh, casino in Oklahoma. Yep. Re- so excited about it. Yeah, restaurants, pool, everything like that. But so, what I wanted to get at this whole entire bowling thing, I told them about the Big Lombowski Fest. So, Big oh, Lombowski, yeah. Oh, yeah. and I said, dude, we got to do a Big Lombowski Fest. And I dressed up one time at a Big Lombowski Fest in Yuma, Arizona. I dressed up as John Goodman's character. Um, and, and oh, had well, a great time. Chavez. Yeah, I said I don't roll. I don't roll on Shober Shabbos. Anyways, I, I I got a flat top and everything. So and I was like I was almost like 280 pounds. So it I was looking good. I can't find that photo because it was the took uh, the photo was taken on a BlackBerry. So it's oh, really yeah, really bad. Days. So um, but anyways, I told him I said, dude, these things are big and they're big on the East Coast and you know oh, a yeah. couple places. I was like, we got to find a bowling alley. We could throw a Lombowski fest with and it's just it's just white Russians and freaking 
freaking uh, you know people dressed up and we play the it. movie and stuff like that and we got to do it in oklahoma city so if you're in oklahoma or in oklahoma in general and you listen to this podcast and you love the big lombowski let us know i want to convince sebastian that this is a good financial thing it would to be do. amazing you know yeah. th- and I, because I, I don't know. You know what I did notice? I was watching some of our YouTube videos on a right. total side note over here, and I'm like, I look like I'm bored all the time. Even if I'm not you bored, are. I look like I'm bored. Uh, I can be, my eyes are kind of like, uh huh. That's because you're uh-huh. retarded. At the end, you got to you got to make. I think it is. I think I might be a little retarded, dude. Yeah, I think I think you're like set, like uh, from Ice Age. All are. I'm, a, I'm a little downy, like, maybe. Yeah, I'm exactly. A little downy. Yeah. Robert all Downey right. Jr. There. Yeah, exactly. You know, so you know, I, feel like, I feel I feel like a Robert De Niro looks a little bit downy, also. Like he, you know. Oh, oh yeah. There's a lot of hate going on around him right now. Where's oh man, the, um, look at Sam. Look at that. Look. That's at a that. good De Niro. Yeah, that's my best scenario I got. You talking to me? You that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, let's talk about the new Eminem song, Houdini, and he's back. He's back. He's Listen, back. everybody. You know how much hate this song got from critics? And all I could say about that is fuck you because it's hitting the charts. Dude, this is set to be bigger, if not already bigger than any Taylor Swift singles that has come out this year. He's back yeah. to his slim shady roots, man. Right. Like, Wait, everybody wants wanted, to hear that offensive stuff. Well, they didn't want him whining about politics like he was, man. They didn't want that. No, nah, the fucking only- whole hate Donald Trump thing. Like, whatever, dude. Whatever. That's fine. But no one cares about that. He is there's, at, he, ahead, there's only one there's only one thing that people are mad about, and that's the mega M- Megan the Stallion reference in the feet. That's it. That's all they're mad about. That's so Everything dumb. else, and, and it's dumb. All he did was reference her feet and like, could I have a ch- shot with her? And, and it's okay because that's the that's the M we know at the end of the day. From what I understand, like, it, gonna, it's a it's a play on uh Tory Lane shot her. Right. Right. And, like shot her in the leg. And so like he made a, sh- a shot no, at her shot- feet. No, he shot. Did he shoot her in the shot foot? Her. He, sh- he shot her. Okay, in the okay, foot. okay. Because like Nicki Minaj talked about her having big feet, and then right. Tory Lane <laughs> shot her in the foot. So he was like, "Let me yeah. get a shot at her feet or something yeah. like that." And, so it's and, not even that big. It's no. not even that big. What yeah, I Tory like, he, he, for he it, even like, says, he even says, "My own fucking kids are brats" or some shit like that. I, I, love, love, that. I love that. Dude, I didn't know that one of his daughters is like a non-binary. Uh, I didn't like, know no, that. That's, Yes, no, yes, yes. It's one of his ado- yes, it's one of his adopted nah. daughters. Look it up. Look it up. All right, I'll look it up. It's not Haley, the one we all know. No, not, not so yeah. he has three daughters, okay? I didn't know all right, that. he has so, yes. two adopted. Two adopted. Two adopted, okay. yeah. One one is his his niece, okay? One is when him and Kim had split up. Yep. She had a kid by someone else who yep. he also wanted up adopting, and she's the youngest, and she's a non-binary them there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, type person. So, so it's it's funny that it happens to Eminem, but he even makes fun of RuPaul in this. But Eminem has grown so much uh, in his music. And before anyone says anything, I'm not fucking hating on Eminem. I love no. that. I'm, 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 I'm happy he's back to doing what he was known for doing. What made him famous. They, yeah. Have you seen that meme that says uh, millennials coming out of the closet? Like, they're like, they're like <laughs> look, because it's like, oh, he's back. Like, he's. Finally, doing the music that we all fell in love with him for. Right. In the first place. It's like millennials and Gen Z are beefing because Gen Z. It's like back in the day, your parents hated Eminem. Nowadays, the kids hate Eminem, and the parents are like, "What are you talking about? This is great." <laughs> yeah, yeah. flip. Yeah, I'm glad to see him back. I'm glad to see him. And and then you know what's coming up, and 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 I already called it before we started the show. Uh, he's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of collabs, and we're gonna see a lot of collabs that that need to happen. And I hope to God that M is goes back out on tour. Now, if those of you guys don't know, M Eminem has stayed away from touring because it's detrimental to his health. Yep. He gets back on pills. He does a lot of things that are not good for his behavior. Um, Jordan can contest to this. You know how many times Jordan buys, um, you know, uh, 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 sexual toys at yeah. like uh, the lion's den when he's out when on tour? Yeah, when you're it's out on horrible. The road. That's what it's I do horrible. too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't too. I just but, buy him. I just buy yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope to see Eminem back out on tour and not doing these one offs and these specialty shows and those kind of things because I think the last tour that we got to saw was Anger Management Tour with Papa Roach, actually. I think that oh, was the it. one of the last. Yeah, He's that was the one. Up. 
He's gonna end up collabing with somebody off the wall. I know you said Jelly Roll. Uh, yeah, I said Jelly gonna, Roll. He's gonna he's watch him end up with like falling in reverse or something. Dude, like, that would be I so mean, dope. it's gonna be I, something I, I wild. Doubt, I bet. I doubt, I doubt it, but okay. the way Ronnie holds himself on the internet and like looks yeah. like a bully, Eminem will jump all over that. I, think, I don't. Right? I don't like, know. Yeah, I don't know that junk. they'd get along. You think they'd get along? Probably not. But oh. you don't have to to make a song together. Dude, you don't even have to be in the same room. If Eminem and Ronnie Radke did a song. Oh, dude, it'd be so. Fit. They should do like Bully or like a song called Bully, and like yeah. them just like just hating. Just okay, hating. now we said that. So if they come up with a song called Bully right now or like in <laughs> yeah. a year from now, yeah. you better get. I your, better get uh, some rights. Yeah. yeah. Some rights. We want some song or credit. something like that. You know, like we, be great. we want we want one thirtieth of the song credit. Yeah, a little royalties That's here, it. dude. You know what'd be cool? You know, you know how Ronnie Radke can like rap really fast. Oh and yeah. Eminem can rap really fast. What if, if they, they did like a it. rock rap song where they were both rapping verse by verse, like really fast after I each can other? see this happening. That would yeah. be dope, dude. It would it'd probably be really good. I mean, we just had Tech Nine on there and he raps really fast too. Yep. So yeah. You know, yeah. you know, going back to the go, the the whole therapist thing, uh, I was gonna make a uh, joke. God damn it. Oh, I, was gonna make, yeah. I was gonna make a joke. This uh, oh, no, 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 Because critics is Eminem's getting hated by the critics, right? I was gonna say yeah. what's that saying critics are uh like therapists everybody has a butthole <laughs> <laughs> which makes no sense but it was really funny in my head i love where's it. our where's our want 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 oh i wish i had that sound we have it we have it sam got it sam got it Let no it we no we have a wrong buzzer <laughs> critics are like therapists everybody has a butthole Oh, Jesus Christ. But you don't call back. We talked about this. You don't call back on the I next segment. I want. I know. I do, that's I that's the thing. All right. Hey, let's take a look real quick on our, our next music break. We got Silent Theory and their new song, Emptiness in You, right here on The Loud Spot. <laughs>
what's up with Jolly Roll, man? How can you be that famous? Mm-hmm. That famous? Get a passport finally from the United States after you've been to jail 40 times with the felony, okay? Mm-hmm. But then still can't go on tour internationally because other countries banned you from your felonies in the United States. I thought people would leave the United States to escape their felony charges. I didn't realize other countries have sanctions against felons from other countries. Is it the other countries or is it the fact that he can't get a passport? No, he can. No, the U S allows him to have a passport now. See, I thought you couldn't get one if you were a criminal or a felon. You can, I I think you can under certain certain Sam, go ahead. What? Sam, yeah, I can yeah, tell it, he wants. Yeah, I, the, I, I shame on YouTube. Shame on YouTube. This is <laughs> this is a Sam question all day long because he deals with O one visas. He deals with, with other countries when I'm booking. So okay, so here here's the you can get a passport if you ha- are a specialty case like Jelly Roll. He's a high profile case. He and and a lot of his felonies have been waived because they have paperwork that he's done his time you know time in jail he served served his yep exactly however that doesn't mean that the country that you are going to tour to will allow you in that country good example canada canada does not do duis does not do uh domestic abuse if you've been in jail for any one of those you are not allowed in from another country really period so if you got a DUI Period. 20 years ago, Canada won't let you in. Well, they'll let you in, but you better have that paperwork with you. The domestic abuse is more strict than the DUI, and it depends on how long, those kind of things like that. Now, Jelly Roll, he's been on the scene uh, the last, I'm going to say the last seven years he's been on the radar, and he's had stuff within the last 10 years, as well as within the last. Now, he's also known to to carry uh, narcotics with him, a.k.a. weed, pills, things like that. So if you're another country, so uh, UK has cracked down too. UK has almost matched the United States as far as their strictness and letting people in. So, okay, yeah. So it's one of those things. It depends on the country you're going to. and, And his team should know where he can, where he can't go. It does help that he's become a high profile case. So he's able to talk to their, his team is able to talk to governments to allow him in. Money You'll talks. See a lot more money yeah. talks. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. I, I got it now. But if you're that famous, I just would never assume that other countries would uphold that law. Yeah. Especially I guess if you're, like, if you're fucking up over there, they don't the, want you over there. Fucking I guess up. it's not really bringing money to the country. It's bringing money to the province or, or wherever you're right. playing. It's not really benefiting the entire country of wherever you're at. But at this point, it, it's like, he's such a public profile and I'm not saying play favoritisms. Okay. I, I'm not saying play favoritisms. I'm this not, I'm, is, say, I'm look, saying, I'm no, saying no, you're the guy's all guy's about the fam- favorite. The guy's too famous to break into a fucking, uh, you know, liquor store right now and steal a cash register. Well, he's too That's fat all I'm too, saying. He, he makes enough money to not have to do illegal <laughs> things. People do illegal things because typically they want money. Like, I would say most illegal things besides domestic abuse or killing someone. A lot of it's right. money derived. A lot right. of crime. So is money I, derived. I will tell you, Dubai will not let him in. Oh, no. All. They, have they the are very strict. strict laws. They are so you can't very... even live there if you're not from there. You know, like there's, yeah. okay, there's so no, what, happens, what happens to Donald Trump if he wins the presidency with his 34 felonies? Is he allowed? There's to not vote? a rule against that. Apparently, that's why a lot of no. people are losing it right now. They're like, "How can you not vote if you're a felon, but you can be the leader of the country?" Dude, dude good Charlotte said it best. You know, uh, you can't be on crack, and, and, and you can be on yeah. crack and work for McDonald's or whatever like that, or not like even work for McDonald's. For them- but you can be all crack and, and run and, for the mayor of DC. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and be that's the, the vice fucking, president's son. That, how <laughs> fucked up is that? That's one of the things that's kind of, yeah. Be the vice president. Well, I mean, he can't help. Yeah, he can't help that his dad was right, president. It's not it's Joe still, Biden's yeah. fault. But at the yeah. same time, it's, it's, there's, there's, but it's wild that that got swept under the rug. Like if I had videos that popped up of me doing half of that stuff, I'm in oh, jail. Like, dude, well, see, we, we talked about this, like the the cocaine in the White House. We know yeah. who it was. We know who yeah. that uh, ob- it's Biden ob- Jr. It's, it's Biden Jr. Look, it's it's ob- it's it's these politics, man. It's 
Uh, I do not want to get bro. started, but, but look, you're them. right. Horrible. You can you can have you can have a hundred felonies, been in jail for forty years, and then still run for presidency if you get enough people that like you. But that's you it. can't work at AutoZone. They will no. not let you work at AutoZone. No, nope. or, or drive or drive a way. truck in America. That's or the, get a CDL. Nope. The, 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 nope. It's it's sad. The poorest people in this country are the ones that get shit on the most. Every single time, if 100%. you want to be an engineer and, and run Google, like, hypothetically, the one of the CEO, one of the not CEOs, one of the high profile guys that was one of the top wigs at Google was found dead from a heroin overdose. You think he wasn't doing heroin for a lot? Long? This is years ago. That's where he got the idea for it. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> off of Google, it said yeah. this to free your mind. Yeah, exactly. So he's like, doing I'm heroin. He probably bought it off Amazon, you know, or maybe it was an Amazon <laughs> guy. I don't know. But the thing, but the thing <laughs> is, you, 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 you can be such a high profile person or have these cool different ideas and and be known, and you're going. People are networking with you left and right. But if you're the fucking bum on the street, then they don't matter. give a shit about you. It's just care. weird the way the the way the system works. I'm not, you know what? There's there's things that could be said good and bad about that. I'm going yeah, up on a tangent. Yeah, exactly. You are. <laughs> oh. At the end of the day, Jelly Roll is going to get special permissions and special red flags waved for him to tour in other countries because of his his success. So relax, Sebastian. He will get his way. However, though, those of you guys who are listening. Uh, check yourself before you'll wreck yourself if you become in a band or you want to travel to another country at yep. the end of the day because you will find yourself at the border having to talk to people in the back room about something you did 20 years ago that is so stupid and then you have to make phone calls and get some kind of some kind of piece of paper so just make sure whenever you travel abroad you guys have these kind of things uh, with you if you actually had a DUI, there's a good like chance can't. the person you talk to is not going to speak your language too. Like they got to find yeah, some, exactly. they got to call in a go. translator and stuff like that. You're going to be go. there for a while. There you go. I think yeah. Jelly Roll should run for presidency, <clears throat> and then if he wins, no, I'll no, take, no, I'll take no, care of no. everything. This is so the problem. He wants to go. No, this is the problem. We have people who are idiots that don't know how to run countries that run for hey, president. You know what? And we I, vote for him. I voted for Kanye West. Do you remember the movie Idiocracy? And oh, I, with, with, with yes. the guy that got presidency Wilson, was just Luke a famous Wilson. person. Like, oh, uh, yeah. it was it was just a famous guy. So they, they it was like a boxer. Terry yeah, he was a boxer, Terry and then they made him president. I was like, I'm surprised that something like that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, like exactly. like Taylor Swift didn't run, you know, or something like probably because she's not old enough yet. But she, it, like no, she's got so many she, fans, she'd probably blow it away, bro. Yeah, well, how, she how probably old, actually would win. Actually, how old do you have you, to be a good president. I think uh, 35. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think she's there yet. Yeah. I no, think she's like she 30. Is. Yes, she is. No she way. 33, 34, something around, right I around got, there. I got to remember that I'm old. I keep forgetting. Yeah. You know, I keep thinking <laughs> of little 14 year old Taylor, you know? <laughs> let, me, let me look it up. How old is she? Taylor? She is 34 years old. I know it because Tiffany will tell me she's one year older than her. And then she's going to run for president Tiff when she is 35. Yeah, no, she's 30. She's about to be 35. Boom. Oh, she she'll get presidency. I bet if she ran, they would the Swifties would yeah. come in full force. She'd be a horrible yeah. president. Oh, of no, course. I don't, I don't think so. What's I think the, the boxing guy was oh, a terrible president. I think she'd be great. All right. Come well, let's stop this yeah, argument. Butterflies real and quick. rainbows everywhere. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, hold no, on. no, 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 stop. Who thinks Taylor Swift would be why? Because what? Because she's rational at the end of the day. Rational doesn't mean just because you're rational doesn't mean you know how to run a country. I don't know. You could ask her 74 celebrity exes if she's rational, you know. <laughs> like, <they've got> a <laughs> list. There might be a, there might be an issue with those exes. Have you ever thought about that? Not you know, John I, I, Mayer. You take but, that back. You take that no, back. There's no I way will, John Mayer was the bad guy. John Mayer's a piece of shit. No way. The He's yeah. the greatest ever. No, no. I'm sorry. Bro. I, I think I think I think I think John Taylor Money Swift Mayer. would be weak, but if Britney Spears runs. Oh God, no! Everyone's scared <laughs> of her. Dude. She's nuts. She's nuts. She'll stab That's you with a knife, bro. Crazy, bro. I can't. I'd rather have. I Britney think Spears of the bald head Taylor bashing Swift. a window with an umbrella. Oh. That's all oh, I think Jesus of with Christ. Britney Spears nowadays. Yeah. That's what yeah. all these people that hate America need to think about when they try to do something to us. Of her coming to their window with an umbrella. And they're going to be like, nah, we ain't fucking with America today. Not with her. So just remember, <laughs> folks, when you go out there to vote, do your do your homework, do your research. Make sure you you vote for the candidates you actually look up and see what politics Kanye 2024. 
Oh, Jesus Britney Christ. Britney Spears, no. 2024. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's take a look real quick at, at our at our last music break, Citizen Soldier. Everybody hates you, Sebastian. That's right here right. on the last spot. Everybody hates you. My middle name is Nervous Breakdown I sure could use a friend Cheaper than Vicodin Fake lives, fake love Got money but I still feel bankrupt It's so hard to fit in When there's no oxygen What the hell is wrong with me? Overthinking reality Calm down, it'll be okay But the voices in my head say hate sebastian <laughs> that's all right yep he had so in our chat he's like the fight's still on what fight are we talking about sebastian oh no you want to bring it up you said i'm gonna lead after the music break but you were gonna i don't know if you were doing the mike tyson thing or not but the mike tyson fight is still on back on for november that's right yeah november it, it, well, first of all it's always it. been rescheduled, right? It was postponed until Mike gets healthier. But the problem was, is they put in Logan Paul. The rumors were, anyways, they put in Logan Paul to be the replacement for Mike Tyson. And I had a problem with that. It's like, why are you putting in Logan to fight Jake? You oh, you're about? saying they were putting in Logan Paul to fight Jake Paul. Not I'd love to see the brothers fight, honestly. I, right. I would, too. I would well, too. The, so put me and my brother in a ring. Let's go. <laughs> so the biggest thing across the internet is like they hyped us up for this July, uh, July 20th fight with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, knowing that Mike would step down real quick and then th so they can put Logan Paul. So that's been the controversy slash theory that's been on that's the that's okay hold on that's a bullshit theory mm. you think you, know, you hold on you think that that everyone thought that the mike tyson jake paul 
fight was only scheduled for people knowing Mike Tyson wasn't actually going to do it, and then Logan Paul was going to step in in his place to fight him. You that that's what you're saying. All right, let's lead up to this. So Jake and Logan had not necessarily had a falling out, but they have been at at war with each other due to sure. their energy drinks, right? Yeah. Okay, prime prime, and I forget what. Celsius, right? I don't think it's. I don't think that is Jake's, but like he took a sponsorship from them. Yeah, like something and like Jake that. Jake had a right? huge pro- or Logan right. had a huge problem with that. Like wouldn't right. let him on a show because he was going to talk about it. Right, exactly. Yeah. So there's been a whole big thing, and you and I both know, little brother always wants to challenge big brother. At the end of the day, I'm the little and brother. So, I get it. Yeah, exactly. I, get it. So, I am too, but I I don't I don't care so much. I guess. Yeah, I you're not know. now, but when I was younger, bro. Yeah, and if yeah, I was in this kind I, of limelight, if it was like yeah. if we were both trying to be famous as hell, like they are, then yeah, I could see beef all day. But me and my okay. brother are so different. Oh, yeah. Me and my brother are very different, also to where like he well he's gay first of all, and that, right. Not only that, but he, he has it's all that like, fabulous yeah. rich gay life. You said, you I said different. What is what's the difference? No. <laughs> No yeah. difference. No difference. The people here, the, the people I hang out with, are very. We're not even close to the same type of people. Like, if I met him outside of being his brother, we. Not that I don't like him. We just wouldn't. We're not. We're not hanging. Yeah, out. you don't mesh like that. My brother yeah. has like no tattoos. Doesn't like music, and like we're, I'm just completely opposite of that. You know. Now, exactly. even funnier is Sebastian's sister that would would beat his ass, <laughs> has beat his ass continuously. She drops elbows on him every time they get together. Sure. Yeah. Back to the controversy and the theory that is there. It they're saying this has always been the setup. So an ulcer, really, Mike Tyson, an ulcer has kept you out of being being healthy, knowing you would have to do this. We all know Mike Tyson's gonna manhandle Jake Paul. Yes. Okay. We all know this. Like one punch. One punch from if Mike money Tyson. wasn't an option. If money wasn't if an option, if money was yeah, an option, he would destroy him. I so, agree with anyway. that part of the statement, but I don't agree that he was always going to drop out. I don't. His agree ulcer, with that his ulcer flare ups. From what I read, supposedly he can't practice and train the right. way that he is supposed to because and, of this. Okay. And uh, did he hurt. always? I guess he maybe has, has always known that. No, that, that, that no. came with age. When he was back in the day, no, he didn't have an ulcer problem. No, no I'm saying he, now though, like but he like he trained for Roy uh, Roy Jones Jr. No ulcer problems. Oh wait, so the last now? fight he had was with Evander Holyfield, right? Like they oh, had an no, exhibition Roy, match. Roy jo- no, Roy Jones Jr. And oh, okay, that a, was the exhibition yeah. match. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I thought it was. He, I thought it was Evander Holyfield also. I did too. No, I don't think I totally so. Thought I thought they it was Roy Jones. Where was it? Was like a benefit of like a benefit fight. So yeah, they like didn't train, so they match, like not really going hard, right? So no. I mean, it was for it was a benefit match, I thought. So that means he didn't train so hard because he wasn't really trying to win or lose. It was just watch the fight. He really kind of handles Roy Jones Jr. and okay, Roy Jones Jr. Roy. Okay. is glad that he was like at like fifty percent and not full full Mike Tyson. So okay. full Mike Tyson is terrifying to this day. But yeah. okay, but okay. So hold on. So we're going back to this whole thing where Sam thinks that this whole thing was just to get Jake Paul yep. and Logan Paul in the ring. Yep. Then then why is then why did they reschedule the fight? Well, it's always been postponed. So the question is, are we still going to have a fight at, on July 20th yep. or not? No, no, it's November 15th. No, no, no. That's, That's what it's saying. Yeah. That's the Tyson one. Stand by if we still have a fight oh, on July like, 20th. No, I don't think so because my tickets better be for the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight. I don't want to see Get your Paul. tickets. Your tickets are only good for Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You're yeah. not going to Okay. To, uh, yeah. You're hopefully you get a refund, but it'll be somewhere different. No, I don't want a refund. I just want my tickets. Just let honored. it carry over, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna carry over. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't believe that, but I don't I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. I mean I am if it makes sense. Neither am I. Neither am I. I yeah, mean, you're actually anti conspiracy theory, but you're about I'm, PR you're a PR person. John, this is all PR. I don't know. This conspiracy all... theory, man. Birds are fake, you know, that's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Since when? How how did that COVID was a reason to like charge the batteries or something they said? They were like, everybody stay inside while we change dude, all these batteries. Dude. You know what? Before we get out of here, I got to say what I did earlier today. No, we have a show. I have a game to play. Oh, shit. If, 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 you, if you get a double A battery and a gum wrapper and yep. put your hands on the negative and positive side of that battery holding the gum wrapper, 
it will burn and it can shock the shit out of you and it will yeah. catch on fire if you don't let it And go. this is the problem with Sebastian. He never learned fucking science, everybody. I, so. I learned it from TikTok today. Okay, Sam, what's the game? No, up. Let's it's go. actually too late. We're, I'm looking at the time clock. It's, it's, it's really late. So maybe next time we're going to play uh, rock band or porn title name. So oh, that would have been so fun. Yeah, well, look at your goddamn itinerary that I make for you, fucker, and then we'll talk about this. I blame you me for, for running off, too. I'm bad going, about it. I was going left field off. We got stuck All on right. bowling too long. <laughs> we did. We actually did the first uh, the first segment, the first uh, quarter. So we, we talked long too long so all right let's get out of here thanks for listening to the show everyone please subscribe to our youtube channel check us out on spotify apple pandora wherever you get your podcasts also check out redefined uh jordan's band is doing awesome they're going on tour very soon can't wait to see you here in oklahoma city mid america music conference midmusiccon.com go check it out that's all the time we got peace out rock on and much love this is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.